the the episode you chose for the Emmy judging is interesting that you went with the uh, Jessica Walter one because a lot of people thought you might have gone with the one where Penny now confronts you while you're dating Priya and uh, uh, the Jessica Walter one is brilliant by the way it's a great submission but what what was your thinking here well to be honest uh, I didn't think about it very much, and I think uh, they asked me the, the, what I would like to submit that morning of the announcements, and I was still quite a bit in shock, and the only thing I could come up with was that episode, because to be to tell you the truth, I think you suggested that I, uh, that I submit that episode, didn't you? We, um, I think that was probably uh, Chris and Rob uh, suggested uh, that episode, and that it was great. Was uh, yeah. yeah. Um, it was and months before. It, uh, well, that's silly. That's very nice of you guys to say if I got nominated, that's what you guys you should, but I, I didn't expect a nomination at all. <laughs> I remembered that episode because was, they had mentioned it, and that's one that was sent in. Yeah, and it had like one of my favorites, uh, Jessica Walter, um, uh, in it. Um, what, uh, what was it like of uh, acting opposite her? Oh, she's fantastic. We've actually, we've kept in touch and we email quite a bit. She's a, she's a great actress, and um, you know, we're also very close over there on the show that uh, guest stars sometimes have a, a difficult time at it, as welcoming as we are. Um, but she, she meshed immediately, and she's, she's great. I hope she gets to come back. And that episode also had the great moment uh, where you arrive back after sort of sleeping with Jessica Walter, um, yeah. and... Um, and uh, and you just and everywhere and you see Penny, you see Shoal and stuff. And that's a great sort of ensemble scene uh, too. Yeah, I agree. I, that's how the show has always felt to me since the first table reading. Um, with uh, well, we did Jim and I had done a a, a Big Bang pilot previous to uh, Kaylee and Simon and Kanal being cast. That uh, <clears throat> you know, by all accounts, including our own, was just not very good. But once uh, the script was rewritten and they came on and I, I heard them read at the table read, I, it reminded me a lot of, uh, of, of Taxi in many ways, which is a favorite show of mine of, of all time. Um, the, the there's a certain sweetness and a sadness and a loneliness to these characters and the, everyone's readings were very, very honest and uh, I, was, I was excited about it. So in my mind, it's always been a, 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 an ensemble. It's a, it's a five-fingered hand. Yeah. Oh, no, for sure. Um, and what uh, is uh, um, and what uh, what is your um, like? Obviously, you and uh, Sheldon have had a great uh, relationship uh, over the years on the show, and you've got just this great on screen chem on screen chemistry. What is like? What was it like being uh, nominated beside him uh, this year? Uh, it's been great. I mean, the fact that the show the the, the show being nominated itself is is uh, the, the the biggest deal to me. It's a little odd to be um, singled out in a way because I, 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 I can't wrap my mind around that. That doesn't seem to make sense because there's a lot of hands in this Leonard character. I mean, and not to belittle my own contribution, but uh, I didn't create the character. Bill and, and Chuck did, and you know, our, our writers certainly contribute a whole lot. Our directors certainly contribute a whole lot. Um, and, and even the other actors and playing off them. So um, it, it's the fact that we have five nominations, I, I hope, uh, means that the, the Academy and the critics are, are, are taking a, a closer look at the show. I, I, I would assume that that's the case, and that's, that's terribly flattering. Um, we've also uh, we've got our first question in the chat room from uh, Ustream uh, uh, 33, uh, it's 353265. Uh, and uh, he or she says, Will Wheaton said on his blog that you have a story behind what Leonard, Leonard wears um, and why. Can you share that with us? <laughs> Is there any truth what's, to that? What's Wheaton talking about? Never trust Will Wheaton, first of all. Uh, <laughs> we can yes. all learn from that. Boy, well, uh, you know... I don't know what he's referring to. Mary Quigley is our, our, our costume designer on the show. She actually, we worked at, I've known her since I was 16 because she was on the Roseanne show as well. Um, and she's also on Two and a Half Men. She's a, a, a producer on our show as well. Um, I, I don't know what Will's talking about. And that's not the first time I've, I've not known what the hell Will Wheaton is talking about. <laughs> 
Um, the, ne the next uh, qu uh, question from you, streamer 936134. How would you describe yourself? Don't know whether that's talking about character <laughs> or, or uh, Johnny Galecki. What was that? The character or myself? Well, I'm I'm not sure whether he's talking about uh about uh Leonard or Johnny Galecki. I don't know. Answer as you see fit. <laughs> uh, how would I describe myself? I, aloof. Um, <laughs> how's that? Um, uh, height challenged. Um, boy, I don't know. I I I, I hope. Uh, I hope I'm a good person. I try. I endeavor to be a, a, a good communicator, um, and uh, it's, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a work in progress. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Next question uh, um, from Ustreamer five six seven six six five. What is your favorite set to film on? I'm assuming this is of the Big Bang uh, theory. What, what's your favorite set? Is it the apartment? Is it the cafeteria? Oh, on the where? Big Bang, yeah, it's the living room. I think it's the what apartment, it's the living room. Yeah, I think um, uh, it's just where it's situated. It's right in front of the live studio audience, and so it truly feels like like live theater. And the only difference is there happens to be four cameras between the stage and and, and the audience. Some of those sets. Are tucked away on the side, away from the audience, and there's a delay in their laughter, and they're they're difficult to play. It's difficult to gauge the timing of those because you're just so far removed from the audience. If if he's not talking about he or she is not asking about the Big Bang set, then um, my favorite type of set is uh, is on location. I like I like traveling and and, and living in a, a place uh, I've I've not yet been for for months on end. Um, the, uh, Ustreamer353265 uh, says, do you have any rituals on Tuesday before taping in front of the audience? Um, the whole cast and the, the uh, director get together in the hair and makeup room and we uh, do a speed read through of the script and, uh, and there's, a little, there's a little huddle. <laughs> <laughs> And I've often, I've often told the cast that if they ever tell anyone that, I will vehemently deny it. Now I'm the one that goes out and, and, and admits it. Um, well, you can deny it. Other than that, it. yes. There, a few of us do, you know, everyone has their little thing. Simon does some stretches, and I do little vocal exercises, and I enjoy a Jamba Juice immediately before the show. <laughs> Things, you know, they start to become almost... Uh, uh, you start to become, you'd be superstitious about some of these things. Um, yeah, less and less as we go on. I mean, initially I would go through my character's entire backstory and I would reread all that stuff that I had written about his childhood and his family and blah, blah, blah. Now um, to, to, to pile all that on is, would, be, would be too much. Now it's kind of in your muscle memory in a way once you get into the, that wardrobe and you have these other familiar voices. Um, talking to you, it's a much much easier to slip into character. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, five nine seven nine four nine uh, has heard a rumor. They're they're wondering: as, is there any truth to the rumor that Laurie Metcalf and Christine Baranski will appear in the same episode? Uh, I, I not as far as I know. Christine's back um, in the 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 season premiere. Um, I would love. We've talked about that a lot as a cast, just just kind of daydreaming, wishful thinking more than anything, to do uh, you know, Christmas at the Coopers or something like that. I would love to see those two work together. Yeah. But as far as it being official, yeah. I, I, not as far as I know. Okay. Uh, and Ro uh, Rob L, who you uh, spoke to last time you were chatting with uh, Gold Derby, uh, he says, congrats, Johnny, on the uh -huh. nomination. When we last spoke a month ago, uh, you mentioned that Leonard changed the most uh, this last season. How do you want him to change in the next season? Well, uh, I've been thinking about that quite a bit. Um, I think in the same direction, you know, and as far as the more life experience he has, the more, the more his, his uh, horizons broaden. Um, I think, he, he, you know, after having his heart broken by, by Penny, um, you know, Sheldon probably could ruin his day still, but 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 probably not his week. 
if that makes any sense. Yeah. He has some bigger emotional, <laughs> some bigger emotional fish to fry than letting uh, his roommate get too deep under his skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, sure thing. Um, someone 